Are you okay? Ugh, they do this kind of thing every year, Forrest. People get hurt. All right, <clears throat> folks. We're gonna work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This next one goes out to all the trapped kids out there. <laughs> Here comes one of my favorites. Peggy, you mentioned something about their friend working here? An intern? Yeah, Jeannie. Seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know? Not sure why we took on an intern. We really didn't have the office space for one. Poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs, I heard. All right, I'll go see if I can find her desk. Hopefully she has something we can use. Peggy said her desk is downstairs. I need a key to get in there. That's not opening. Jeez, they really tucked Jeannie away. Friendship quiz. This might work. Hey, you find anything that'll help us out? Yeah, I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Carrie's on line one, whenever you're ready. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. This is Forrest Nash, back again with an unlucky caller on this unlucky night. Gary, are you there? Yes, we've got a plan. But we can't agree on who should do what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. I'm ready. What's the first step? First things first, we'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's gonna be a hard climb. We're deciding between Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. Hot David! Hot David? I don't know if running up the roof is really possible, but I guess we'll see. Part two, the whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do it. Seth. Seth, what are you talking about? I don't know that smashing into windows is really... Oh God, fine. <laughs> anyway, that brings us to part three. Getting the van keys. I'll volunteer for this. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so... It'll probably be easier that way. Then it's part four.
This is a very detailed plan. I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, it's weirdly easier to think when you're about to die. You're doing great. What's the next part? Part four, we need someone to lead the whistling man away. We need a fast runner. For this one, we're trying to decide between... Who was it again? Kyle, Cynthia, and Scott. Scott. I know Scott. For once, you're not the last pick. Sweet. Okay, let's recap. We get the eyes on the roof. A runner distracts the killer while we grab the van keys and pick the lock on the gate. Now the tricky part. The getaway. Ooh, what's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling man. But he thinks we're just a bunch of stupid teens. So, let's use that against him. Part five, we trick the killer into a trap. Someone can pretend to be injured. Who would make the most believable beat? Who you got? We got Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. Lisa. Whoa. You're right, Lisa. Having to smile at rude customers is perfect practice. That should take care of the killer. And then it's time to get out of here. Finally, part six. We need someone who can drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alive. Who's our getaway driver? Should it be... Who have we got? Chad, Jennifer, Cynthia, oh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. Chad. Oh. Perfect. Your go-karting experience will be great, Chad. Thanks, Forrest. We'll just take a few seconds for ourselves, and then it's go time. Sounds good. Talk to you in a sec. Good luck, Carrie. That actually sounded like a pretty good plan. I hope you're right. Yeah, let's hope.